the way that we planted this garden would be like the same way that our ancestors would have done it for thousands of years. So that would be the first step would be burning of the ground. The second step would be the creating of the mounds and they would just like heap up the top soil. And then uh, around that time, the suckers and the sturgeon would be running. So they would spear those and um, then they'd put those in the mounds. And that would be the main nutrients for the crops. There's a couple different styles of mounds, but from what I've seen, our people always did like really big mounds. Then another thing with it too, to having the higher mound, they were easier to tend to. Um, when the crops got really tall, like uh, our Muncie white corn could get like up to like 18 feet tall. Um, is what I heard. Um, so then you would take the bottom of this one and throw it on there to kind of steady them up. And then also you could kind of tie them up if you wanted, help sturdy them so the wind didn't blow them over. Once the corn got about ankle high or so, or is where when you would put the beans in, so that the beans would crawl up into the onto the corn, and also put nitrogen back into the soil. And then a squash would go um, on the ground to kind of blanket the bottom so that it keeps the weeds down. The sunflowers, which would be the fourth sister that's kind of forgotten, um, that would help with the squash to bring in pollinators because your corn is an open pollinate so it gets pollinated by the wind. Um, your beans are selfers, they pollinate themselves. But your squash need pollinators, so like the bees come in and pollinate them, so that's where the sunflowers come in. Using the plant and stick, it's a good back saver. You just kind of work it almost like a shovel. And then you drop the seed in and you can... Is this an old design? Yeah, this would be um, like an Iroquois and East Woodland style.